Hey everyone, my name is Lori Soma and I am a Pinterest coach and empowerment mentor for female entrepreneurs and all women who identify as women in the world. <laughs> so today is Tuesday. So if you're watching this on a replay or if you're watching this on YouTube, it might not be Tuesday for you, but hey, it's Tuesday right now. And so every Tuesday on my page right here, I'm going to drop a little business tip for Pinterest on here. Um, it's going to be called Tip Tuesday. So here we are. It's Tuesday. It's October 1st. Welcome to October. Welcome to a beautiful day and welcome to your Pinterest tips. So if you are an entrepreneur in any way, go ahead and drop me a comment down below. Put like, you know, drop a little GIF or whatever it's called. Um, if you're on Facebook and if you're on YouTube, go ahead and drop me a comment. Let me know that you are an entrepreneur because Pinterest is literally the place, the place for entrepreneurs to be. I know you guys are all like on Facebook and Instagram and, um, Twitter and LinkedIn and all of that. And those are amazing social media places. They are amazing, but where I am seeing a ton of growth and a ton of just reach, reach like crazy is on Pinterest. So why not just be on Pinterest? Why not just put your business on there? Why not just work your business on there? I have three reasons today why Pinterest is perfect for your business. Whether you are like, if you are an entrepreneur in any way, if you are a coach, if you are a blogger, if you are a photographer, um, realtor, I'm literally free. if in any MLM whatsoever, if you are in affiliate marketing, if you are a virtual assistant, okay. If you have a, if you have a business at all that you want to make money off of in any way, if you're an author for anything, Pinterest is absolutely amazing for you. And I'm going to tell you why right now. I'm going to give you three reasons why. Okay. Number one, you don't need to spend too much time on Pinterest, okay? We are all on, and that, that's what I thought at first. At first I was like, I'm, I'm not getting on Pinterest. I am building my, I'm building my reach really, really huge, or so I thought. <laughs> I thought like 1,000 people or 2,000 or 3,000 or 4,000 or 5,000 people on my friends list on Facebook was a lot of people. <laughs> and then I got on Pinterest and I'm like, oh, 20,000 views in a month. Yeah, yeah, it's a little bit different. Um, but we're all spending all of our time, a lot of time on Facebook and a lot of time on Instagram, trying to trick these algorithms, right? Trying to be relevant, trying to give more stuff, trying to, you know, keep in touch with everyone and message people. And it can be exhausting. And I'm not saying to get off Facebook. I'm not saying like Facebook, Instagram, like everything that you're on, if, if, it, if it's serving you, if it feels right, stay on it. You don't need to just go to Pinterest if you want to. Sure, go ahead. But if you don't, it's okay. But we are spending so much time. We're putting so much energy into creating all of this and keeping up with people and creating relationships and all this stuff. And it can be exhausting. And a lot of people want to stay away from something else because they're like, I can't. I can't. I'm doing so much already. How the hell can I add one more thing? You do not need to spend much time on Pinterest, honestly. The most time you're going to spend on Pinterest is literally creating your pins, creating your content, and then scheduling your pins. And I have perfected it. I, I spend about an hour a week on Pinterest for myself. Um, and I'm just growing and growing and growing with an hour a week. Literally, you can set it and forget it with Pinterest. So you do not need to spend a lot of time on Pinterest. You do not need to be fostering relationships on there. You do not need to be messaging people. You do not need to be scrolling. It's literally set it and forget it. Schedule your pins and forget it. Um, number two, yes, I have them written down. Just have to. Um, number two, people do not need to follow you on Pinterest for them to see your content. That is huge. That is huge because you don't need to worry about friending people and messaging people so that, so that they see your content coming up into their feed. You don't need to worry about like, you know, commenting on theirs so that they see you and all of that game that we're all going through on Facebook and Instagram. Okay. It is nothing like that on Pinterest. 
you can literally be making thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars a day from Pinterest and getting a, a huge following and getting a ton of views on your blog or your website or anything with literally no followers whatsoever. So you don't need followers on there. If, if Pinterest is not the place where you have to be like, ah, how long is it going to take me to build on there? It's not going to take you that long to build on there because what you're like, you don't really have to build on there, like build in the sense of the word of, um, you know, putting yourself out there and, and needing people to follow you and then, and then messaging them and all of that. Pinterest is not like that. People do not need to follow you for them to see your content on Pinterest. It is not a social media outlet. It is a search engine. Absolutely incredible. So number three, your pins, your pins last forever on Pinterest. I'm going to just put it out there. Yeah, some people say there's a six month, there's a six month um, thing or six weeks or like whatever. Honestly, your pins last forever. They last forever. Case in point, I had a Pinterest client that I was pinning for a few weeks ago and I typed in a search word, so typed in a keyword for her to, to look for pins to pin for her. And one of the pins that I created for another client two years ago popped up on that search. One of the first pins popped up on that search two years ago. Two years ago, a pin that I had created two years ago for another client popped up on that search. Your content, your pins will last forever on Pinterest as long as it keeps getting repinned. And as long as you put great keywords onto that pin, literally your content can just keep going and going and going on Pinterest. And what can we really, really say that about Facebook? How long, how long does a Facebook post last, right? You, you, you post on Facebook and it gets a lot of engagement, right? But a few hours later, it all stops because Facebook is then pushing other people's stuff in, right? Not with Pinterest. Pinterest, your pins will last forever. So you don't have to keep creating content over and over and over and over and over, and over again and making yourself crazy trying to be this relevant person. And no, I'm not saying stop using Facebook and Instagram because Facebook and Instagram and LinkedIn and Twitter and whatever else you're using are absolutely amazing, amazing places to build your business. But if you could build your business on, on Pinterest in like literally an hour or two a week and set it and forget it and have a huge reach, why not? Why not? Like, why? Why, why are you keeping yourself from building that big? Why are you keeping yourself from that? So... Those are my three reasons why you need to get your business on Pinterest right now. Not when you master Instagram, not when you master Facebook, not when you master something, you need to get on there now because literally Pinterest has gone from 200 million active users to 300 million active users in the past year. And it's because so many people are realizing how incredible of a place it is to work their business and grow their business. It's, like, yeah. So I hope the, these tips have been helpful for you. And I do have a course um, that tells you exactly how to work your business on Pinterest. And if you do already know how to use Pinterest, but you just are, are in need of some strategy, like like some, some help with some strategy. Awesome, Jessica. I'm so glad that you do. If you need some help with some strategy, I can help you out with that too. Just go ahead and message me and let me know that you would like some help. And if you are just coming in and just tuning into this, um, these tips about Pinterest, go ahead and rewatch this. Uh, but I hope that these tips helped you. The, the three tips that you need to do to get your business on Pinterest. Number one is you don't need to spend much time there. You don't need to be on there scrolling and, 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 you know, talking to people and all of that. You can literally set it and forget it. I do mine in like an hour or two a week. Um, and I just literally said it and forget it. And that's that the entire summer I scheduled my entire summer. I will, I'll, I'll be honest. I scheduled my entire summer. I didn't get on, I didn't get on Pinterest for about a month and a half 
for about a month and a half. I didn't even get on there. I just scheduled my pins and I was still making passive sales. My Pinterest was still growing. I went from 400,000 views to 600,000 views um, per month by doing nothing. I literally just scheduling my pins and they took care of everything and it grew. I mean, like it's like autopilot for your business. Why not? Why not be on there, right? So number two is people do not need to follow you for, for your content to be seen. That is huge. That is really, really huge. That's big. That, that, that's like one of the mind blowers that, you know, is just amazing. And number three is pins last forever. We don't have to keep coming up with all this content and, and like trying to be relevant and all of that stuff. So if this is helpful for you, go ahead and drop me a link down below. Let me drop me a link. Go ahead and drop me a comment down, down below. Let me know if this is helpful for you. If you want to get my course, I will then put that into the description of this video if you're watching on YouTube and I'll put that into the comments if you're watching on Facebook. Have an amazing day and I will see you later.